What's up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy, jumping on real quick to do some fun reviews with you. I'm actually, um, got was gifted these books from School of PE to do some reviews on, and I wanted to share those reviews with you if you're studying for your Civil PE depth exam. So, what the School of PE has done is they've released depth manuals for those taking uh, the, the Civil Engineering PE exam. These are preview editions. If I could just show you one of them. This is a preview edition. This one specifically is for water resources, but these are preview editions. So what the School of PE is doing is they are allowing people, uh, if you are a member of their course, to get these manuals as part of their courses. So if you wanna go check out their courses, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. You can go check these out. You can see right off the bat that these books these review manuals are various thicknesses and I talk about this in each review but basically what you're getting here is a lot of material is covered in the AM uh, and if it is covered in the AM then it's found in their uh, review manuals for the AM. For the PM portion you're getting stuff that's in uh, the PE spec but uh, like structures or construction as you or here well, what's this construction depth review. You can see it's not very thick, and the reason for that is because most of that is covered in the AM portion. But you can see for transportation, this is the thickest book. Check that out. This thing is huge. So that's the thickest book, but um, and the reason why is because there's not a lot of material for the depth portion, right? Currently in the specifications, there's just no, not a lot of topics, so you got to cover a lot in a depth section review manual. So anyway, School PE has, has let me use these. I did a quick review of each video, which is um, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, and hopefully you will understand why I think these are great manuals as you check out the review itself. Um, but I, overall, I think they're uh, great books and definitely worth checking out. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. A review of each of these manuals is coming right up. What's going on everybody? Here we are, we're checking out another review manual which is from the School of PE. This is the Transportation Depth Preview Edition, a companion to their PE Civil Exam Review course. So, the reason why these are preview editions is again, is because you have to be members of the, the their courses right now to get these books. These are only available right now to School of PE students. And these will be released in the future to the mass public that you can buy these on your own individually, but that won't happen until this exam goes computer-based. So until then, you gotta be a member of their course to get this, which is probably the only downside right now to these manuals from what I'm noticing. Uh, we have reviewed a few of these. So um, School of PE was nice enough to send me these to check out. Um, I've got all five depth review manuals, but today we wanted to dive into the transportation depth review manual. If you need the AM portion, they have their own review manual that is a companion to this. These are all um, soft cover. The other manuals for the AM portion uh, for the FE and for the PE are hard cover. So good stuff. Uh, anyway, let's dive into it. Transportation depth review manual. Check it out, look at the thickness on here. I mean, that's a good two and a half inches of thickness. This thing is a monster, okay? Probably rivals the CIRM. This is the thickest book in their depth review sections that they are reviewing. And the reason for that is simply because the depth material for the AM portion of the civil PE exam is just uh, very small now. And it goes up and down as they, you know, change the specs. But um, because right now most of your materials for your depth section for transportation, the book that they've come up with is super thick. Check it out. I mean, maybe this is the new Bible when it comes to this. Who knows? Anyway, you get the idea. It's a thick book, and that's because there's just not a lot of topics in the AM portion now for transportation. I don't know what, you know, they're not showing a lot of love for the transportation guys. But uh, here you go, diving into the book. I noticed right off the bat, you got beautiful colored imagery in here. Uh, they list the uh, authors here at the beginning. The dive into 
the subject uh, matter here, the chapters. So you got traffic engineering, urban streets and facilities, intersection capacities. Uh, wow, that's a big one. Lots of material, broken all down. Traffic analysis, generation and traffic impact studies, crash analysis, non-motorized facilities, traffic forecasts, highway safety analysis. Uh, you get the idea. Chapter two, you dive into horizontal design. Chapter three is vertical design. Chapter four is intersection geometry. Chapter five, roadside and cross-section design. Everything about that. Chapter six is uh, signal design. Seven, traffic control design. Everything you wanna know about that. Chapter eight is geotechnical and pavement design. Good stuff there. Big chapter. Nine is drainage. That's important. And 10, alternative analysis. Alternatives analysis. So there you go. Talking about cash flow, everything about that. What I like about their books is that you get a little bit about the authors at the beginning, including, you know, a picture of them and a little blurb about them. So you can jump in here and read about the authors, which is always nice. So it looks like we've got four guys. Uh, and Miss May in here, very nice, excellent. Anyway, got some reviewers, it dives in again, traffic engineering, the authors that authored this, and then it jumps into the uh, chapter information. Obviously transportation is huge. Now they also give you these exam guides at the beginning of each chapter where they talk about traffic engineering. This is from the spec and the approximate number of questions found in the current spec, which is in 2015 as of this writing. This will obviously change in the future and then they've got to revamp things, but I'm sure the information is still, you know, very good. You get introduction to the material and then it dives into, you know, the theory and background of it. What I like about it is things are in co color. It's not all black and white with their uh, information and, um, you get some example problems after each major section to really solidify how you solve these problems or how, how to you know, really solidify the concepts. But just doing a quick thumb through so you can see the material uh, yourself, you can see there's just a ton of good information here. This is probably the most comprehensive manual on transportation that I have seen. Uh, in terms of specifically for your depth section. And so not only is this something that you're gonna wanna have at your side, but it's also gonna go along with all the standards you gotta pack if you're taking transpo as your depth section. So, you know, that wagon case of book material is gonna be with you until it goes computer-based and then all that will be online. So anyway, you get the idea. Lots of information in here. I found it very comprehensive. It covers everything you need in the specifications. Uh, there's nothing at the end like an index or anything, which I would say is something they could add. So you could quickly look up concepts, but really all that information is kind of at the beginning of the book anyway. So if you needed to find something, you'd have to come up to the table of contents and really thumb through uh, what you see here. But it would be nice to have some sort of index in the back of this um, so that you could, let's say you had a theory question, you could quickly look up a definition or something in the book if you needed to. So just kind of my two cents about that. Anyway, uh, this was a great book. I definitely highly recommend checking it out. If you're already a student of their courses, um, then you should be able to get this. And if you're not, you're gonna have to wait until I believe 2022 in order to buy a manual like this. If you pair it with the AM guide, uh, then I think you've got a really solid uh, set of books to help you study for the PE exam. Um, again, you'll have to go check this out, it's at School PE. So if you go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE, you'll be taken there and you can go check this out for yourself. Good stuff here, I highly recommend it. And um, not a lot of constructive criticism other than the other thing I notice is that they're missing the total AR codes, which are, will be coming in the future when it, in 2022 when we know more in depth of what the spec is uh, for the computer-based exam that was accelerated for COVID, 
things of that nature. So they have these total AR codes you can scan with your phone. Typically they're here and you get to know the author and you can look up definitions and you can get additional practice problems and all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I highly recommend it. Go check it out, civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. This is by far the biggest book in their review manual. Um, the other thing I think would be nice is to have some of this color coded like their AM portion. But again, this is just a preview edition. It's not the final. And they probably might have tabs on there for you anyway that are color coded per section. Uh, just another idea there that they probably are going to do anyway. So anyway, guys, hope this helped you out. If you're ever considering this book, definitely uh, give us uh, a click through and go check it out at civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE and I think you'll be happy with it. So for all your transpo guys, add another book to the list. All right, see ya. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a quick review of these manuals. Uh, thanks for School of PE for sending those and allowing me to do a quick review. Again, you have to be a course member to be able to get access to those. So if you need that, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. But in 2022, 2022 and beyond, they will be released out into the public. So you can go check those out as well and get a version, even if you're not a course member, as they add more to it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick review of these manuals. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. But hey, check out those cool mountains. <laughs>